So as I close the garage door and come into the uh, little entrance right here, uh, there's lots of little cabinet doors and uh, doors to some different rooms and a few different items on the ceiling. Well, let's check them all out. Let's have a look to see what's behind door number one. So in this cabinet are your um, internet and cable utilities. Uh, you may not have a cabinet uh, uh, with these in your house, but they will be located somewhere. You, sh you should actually know where they are. Um, even though you're not allowed to tamper with any of this, any of the wires uh, or the system itself, um, if you do have any problems, uh, you should call your service provider. Uh, now, uh, sometimes they will ask you to reset your system. Uh, so you'll have to, to uh, find where the on and off switches are. Um, in this cabinet, I have uh, um, a power bar that both of these are, are plugged into. So I can just turn this on and off uh, to reset it. And when you do reset it, just uh, turn it off for about uh, 20 seconds and then uh, turn it back on. Uh, and that's about it for this cabinet. Let's uh, shut this door here and go to cabinet number two. So I'm sure you've all experienced um, losing power somewhere in your house at some point. Uh, you know, whether it's a, a light or, or a, um, you know, some type of an appliance or a hair blower. Um, you know, before you come down to, uh, um, to the panel, you know, just do some basic checks. First of all, you know, it, is it just a light bulb? Um, if it's something you plug in, uh, try it in a different receptacle to see whether or not it's, it's the, uh, the circuit or, or the... Uh, uh, the appliance itself. Anyway, so you determine that it, it's not, uh, um, you know, the uh, the light bulb or, or the appliance. So you come down to the panel. Now, if there's a problem with the circuit, um, these uh, circuit breakers will trip or turn off automatically. You could have a, a, a circuit overload, too many things into one receptacle. Uh, you know, we're all guilty of that, creating this big octopus stuff behind the couch. Uh, so what happens there is there's too much current running through that circuit um, and, and it, uh, it, it can overheat. So as a safety mechanism, um, this will actually trip um, and turn off the power in, in that, uh, um, on that receptacle or that area or that room. Now the other thing could be a, a short circuit where your hot wire uh, may touch, um, you know, example is um, it might be loose wire on one of your receptacles. And it, uh, you know, just from plugging in and out, it might have jiggled loose and touched the, the side of the box. Uh, so what happens there is, is there, once again, there, there's a power surge and there's heat build up, um, and, you know, which will also break or, or, tur or, break the, or trip the breaker uh, or, or uh, turn the switch off. Another, another example would be, you know, you're hanging something on the wall uh, and, uh, you know, maybe you used uh, too long of a screw and you, you've gone through the drywall, maybe you missed the stud or, or uh, or you know you go in, into the stud and, and there's a wire they're running through and it hits the wire so you've actually hit uh, you know you have metal on the live wire so once again it, it'll cause a, you know a short circuit you can come down if there's a problem with the circuit these circuit breakers will trip or turn off now the way you tell that uh, if one of these have tripped first of all when they're on all the switches are towards the center now all these are on here except I have one that's off and that's actually my air conditioner uh, uh, power that I turn off during the winter and I'll, you know, obviously I'll turn that back on when air conditioning season starts Now looking at uh, at the breakers uh, Sometimes it, it, it's hard to tell whether or not um, The uh, it has tripped or not because it won't turn all the way off and I'll, I'll give you an example here I'll just trip this bottom breaker here Okay, so here's a close-up of the uh, breaker that has been uh, tripped you notice it, it's halfway here and I can't just turn that on it actually springs back so I have to do is I have to turn that off all the way and then I have to turn that back all the way so now you see that it lines up with the rest of them also if you notice the uh, double breaker on the bottom that's actually the main power shut off for the whole panel so if I have an issue or an emergency I need to power off quickly just turn off the, uh, the the main double breaker usually they're on the top of the panel uh, but as you can see this one here is actually on the bottom so one more thing I'd like to add is um, if your uh, breaker keeps tripping, uh, there's a couple of things you're going to have to do. First of all, you have to stop plugging so many things into a receptacle. Uh, the other thing is 
Um, when a, a, a breaker trips um, often, um, it actually wears out, it gets weak. Uh, so you may have to change, uh, change the breaker. Another thing I'd like to point out, uh, if you look in the back of my electrical panel door, I have a panel directory. And this gives me a list of, um, of all the different circuits throughout the house. Uh, so if I ever have to isolate um, any power in a certain area, um, I just have to come to this, look at the area or the fixture, and go to the uh, go to the panel. All the uh, the numbers are listed, um, which makes it a lot easier and, and saves a lot of time. If you don't have a a, a panel directory, I truly recommend uh, that you that you get one done, uh, especially if you're in an older home where there's been alterations or additions, because um, you never know where uh, someone has tapped into a circuit. Um, I mean, it would, it would be worth paying an electrician come in and, and uh, trace everything, uh, label it with detail, uh, so that there's no guessing game when you're, when you're dealing with power and, and you're uh, um, turning certain areas of the house off just to give you uh, more assurance and to, uh, to keep you safe.